Uh oh. <laughs> To do something a little different we're getting off the flats we're gonna see if we can go hook something big um, right now it's blowing out of the north a little bit but the wind should shift around to the east around um, eight o'clock or so so we're gonna go get in a little bit of deeper water and see if we can go catch something big so y'all come with us and see so got him yeah all right let me get this out of the way Bonita, I think it is. No, it's not. It's a little pink. I don't want to measure it. We got to be 24 to the fourth. I think yeah. he's gonna make it. Another little king. One was busting on top out there on yours, man. Did you see it? Did you see it, mine? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna make it. I think so. A little schooly king. Put a measurement on him to make sure. Look at that, he's almost purple. They gotta be 24. Yeah, get him in the boat. Get yeah. him on the front deck. They gotta be 24 to the fork. Oh yeah, he's Ooh. gonna make it. He almost bit my nose. Yeah, he almost, <laughs> he almost made it. Let's measure him again, make sure. 24 to the fork. He is 24 and a half to the fork. He's gonna make it. Yeah. Let's see, Caleb. Let's see what you got. He yeah, actually like he's coming up. He's gonna run again right here. All right, guys. So we just turned the camera off from talking to you, and uh, we hooked up immediately. So we're gonna sit here a little while longer. Man, they're so fast. Yeah. He's gonna run a couple more times at the boat, probably. Oh, hold the rod down. Got, got him on wire this time. Got that sucker on wire. Come on, Scott, no pressure. We've been broke off and broke off and broke off. Yep, there. I lost one. I went. It's all right, kid. It's okay. I promise. That's a good one. Smoking it. Smoking it. Don't, don't do it, don't Scott. Touch that don't, don't you look at it. Don't you even put a click on it. No, don't, don't. <laughs> He'll stop. He'll stop. You got plenty of line. You got plenty of line, dude. I hope you got plenty of line. <laughs> no, nah, don't do it. Don't do it, dude. You're still, you're still in the brain. <laughs> Come on, fish. Stop. He'll stop. That's a big fish. He'll stop. He's gonna make one good run and oh. Yeah. Hope you like reeling, Scott. <laughs> there you go. Uh -oh. He's slowing now. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting a little bit of line back. Never mind. Come on, Scott, you can do it, dude. Glad he's on wire. I'm tired of messing the, around without wire. Saw the backing right there, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be worried for a minute. <laughs> start making you pucker a little bit. All right, he ate wire. Good to know. Thank goodness one finally ate wire. It's so tough sometimes, man, because even though these fish are pelagic and so aggressive and fast and toothy and everything else, they can get so finicky. But like I was talking about a minute ago, I think we were at the at the change of a tide right there. And the tide's not as important out here. But all of a sudden, 
baits started moving the other way, and all of a sudden we got doubles. We lost one, but he was on uh, he was on floor. Take your time, Scott. Take your time, man. A lot of pressure here. A lot of pressure. Feel no pressure. <laughs> I, feel no pressure. I feel no pressure. And we got really soft drags too because these fish run like that. I mean, you want to you want to let them run. As long as you got the line capacity and you can you can stay at anchor, just let them let them do their thing. Get that run out of them. We got all the lines in. Yeah. As long as we don't hook ourselves inside the boat, we'll be all right. There, there are lines everywhere. There, there, earlier, there was lines I everywhere. I know. I was putting them all up. I'm getting ready to see this thing. Are you? Pretty excited. So? There he is up there. Is he foul hook? Oh my god. The damn bonita. Bruh. It's a tail wrap yeah, bonita. bonita. Hey, I tell you what though, dude. <laughs> awesome shark bait. Awesome shark bait. Well, <laughs> that's why I want five legs the wire. He's done anyways. That's why I wanted finally at the wire, but man, what a what a pretty beautiful fish, fish dude. What an absolutely beautiful fish. That's yeah. kind of disappointing. That's a little <laughs> disappointing, a little bit. But a little bit, actually. My man, what a beautiful fish. Good. Look at the look at the marks on him. The marking. Yeah, that's cool. That is a fast, fast, fast fish. Mm -hmm. Grab those scissors tails and cut that wire. Shark bait. Who knows? Shark show coming soon. Grab a, grab a gaff. Yeah, you never, you never know, man. And uh, it just kind of parked it, and this is happening. I don't know what this is. It's in the uh, front left or front right hatch. You never, you never know out here, though, for sure. Yeah, I mean, it felt humongous. You can stay on your feet. I don't know what this is. Lots of head shit. Uh oh. <laughs> Be <laughs> we ain't on the flats no more. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not a snook. I don't know what it is. Watch that other line. All we're doing out here, guys, is we found, well, we didn't find. We got some numbers out here, some structure. Pulled up, a couple scoops of live bait. Started cutting up dead bait. This fish actually picked up a, uh, a free line dead bait in about 50 feet. And um, we don't have a clue what it is yet. I can tell you on the flats pretty quick, man. Catfish, redfish, snook. This is, uh, we thought he got eight for a second, but I guess he didn't. See if I can stay on my feet long enough to see what it is. It just, it felt like just pure net. weight. The net's under the... Holy the cow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. You ready? Yeah, guy. Let's go run one more time. This fish hit a uh, hit a cut bait. Three line cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him. That's a stud. Got dude. him. King that balls tonight, boys. <laughs> now. <laughs> now that we, ooh, don't mind me. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me now steer his head back. Now that we have this back. guy in the boat, uh, <laughs> I want to, I want to confess something to everybody. <laughs> this fish, this fish was just caught on 20 pound Tampa Bay Fishing Channel fluorocarbon leader and a 1-0 circle hook. Let me get him up here in the sun and we'll show you. Uh, very 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 lucky on that fish <laughs> so there you go 20 20 pound 20 pound fluorocarbon 10 circle hook right in the top of his mouth that's a good fish all right guys so 20 20 to yeah he's 20 he's pushing 20. um again 10 pound braid 20 pound tampa bay fishing channel fluorocarbon with a 10 hook free line cut piece of dead bait we pulled up out here it's a public public uh reef started chumming with cut bait and that's what it produced so far so 
I'm gonna get him in the cooler. All right, guys. So uh, there's definitely some kingfish out here. Um, got a couple nice ones in the cooler. Uh, I got a couple nice ones in the cooler. You got a couple nice ones in the but cooler. But in in your defense, I was hogging the entire back of the boat. I had rod. Uh, he had every rod holder. <laughs> I had up, rods so. out everywhere, man. But they uh, they were funny, man. We couldn't get them on wire. We couldn't get them on the double hook rig. Um, but you put a single hook back, 60 pound fluoro. They jumped on it, but you know how that goes. I mean, that didn't that didn't end well. We we left a lot of tackle out here today, but um, but it was nice, man, being out here where at least I didn't feel like I could walk back the boat ramp. I yeah. mean, it's it's over three foot deep. I haven't fished over three foot deep in about six months. Yeah. So, but um, we're gonna run back in. We'll get with you guys at the fillet table. I'm gonna show you how I clean these because kingfish have a lot of dark meat, uh, which is kind of undesirable. But they also have four loins that run down their back, top and bottom of the spine. And um, we're going to pop those out, show you how we do it, and take them home and make king balls. So, you ready for the long ride in? Got to get started sometime. It's not bad, man. It's like 20 miles. Let's go. All right, guys. So here's our big king from today. And I'm going to show you all how I clean them. Now, if you're going to smoke them or anything like that, go ahead and fillet them. But if you want to cook them on the grill or anything else, I make what I call king balls. I cut around the fish without cutting through the backbone. And then you reach in between. You actually reach in between the, uh, give me that sharpener. You reach in between the stakes that you cut without disconnecting them, without cutting through them. I saved that piece to show, but we'll show another one. Um, without cutting through them. And a kingfish has four loins that run on the top and bottom of his backbone. And I know it may seem wasteful, but we're gonna grill this fish and everything else that's gonna be left is kind of dark, undesirable meat. So we're gonna start here behind the fin. Might need your help flipping him. Grab him, let's flip him. Cut all the way around. Keep rolling him. And I'm not gonna cut through his head or through the through the spine there. And I'm gonna do it again. About one inch sections. Flip it back. Oh, the other way. About one inch sections. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in here. Down to the backbone and you're gonna push. And when you do that, that's one, that's one part of the loin. Hold this back. Find the backbone again, go just below it, push again. There's the second part. And you're gonna do this all the way down the fish. Actually, we're gonna do one side and then we'll do the other. And like I said, I know, I know it looks like we're leaving a lot of meat, but these fish have a lot of really dark, bloody meat. So what I'm leaving behind is the dark stuff. It keeps me from having to deal with it. And this fish is gonna be ready to go on the grill, these pieces. I usually wrap them in bacon. I know everybody says you can wrap anything in bacon and it tastes good, but trust me, these are these are delicious wrapped in bacon. My, my wife does not like fish. And she will, she will eat, the, eat this up. So, and we're gonna start back up here. Find the backbone, push, there you go. King balls. And it leaves all that other meat on there that's undesirable. And it just pulls the loin out. And you can do it either way. You see how it's taking the loin out, but it's leaving all this nasty red meat and dark meat that's in there. Oh, that one got kinda, there he is. And the top loin is bigger than the bottom loin. Just work your way down the backbone. And pop them out. And this is just the way I do it. I know, like I said, some people may think this is wasteful. But what I'm leaving is all that dark meat. You can see on each side, he's got two loins. Pop them out. There you go. 
And I guarantee you, you take this, wrap it in bacon, put it on the grill, one of the best fish you'll ever eat. And you do this from head to tail on both sides and you actually get a lot of meat off of them. come back and keep popping them out come out real easy and clean and see again it just it leaves all that nasty red bloody meat behind so you're really not losing any meat and you're winding up with nothing but good clean meat so hope you guys learned something um we had a blast today doing something different got offshore caught some fish that we don't normally get to catch so uh, again if you have any questions um need any help with anything have any suggestions feel free to let us know my number's at the end of the show and uh if you leave me a message if i don't answer i'll get right back to you so or if you want to book a trip and you want to come do this with me feel free